Oh, hello, everyone. So I just got back yesterday um, from South Carolina because I went to the Sweetgrass um, book signing in Charleston and it was very fun. I went to this signing as um, an attendee. I didn't assist or anything and I wanted to show you guys um, just the haul of the books that I got, um, books that I pre-ordered, books that I, you know, brought from my own collection to get signed, books that I purchased at the event. There are some really pretty, like, signing exclusive special editions in here that I'm just obsessed with. I met some authors who, you know, I love and I haven't met before. I, you know, caught up with some of my favorite authors and I just saw a whole, whole bunch of my friends and it was a really fun weekend. I say this all the time, my personal favorite part of book signings is not getting books and getting them signed. It's truly just hanging out with all of my friends. It's meeting new people, but then again, it's also catching up with like all of the friends and connections that you have in the book world because this community is so beautiful through the social media like YouTube, Instagram, TikTok. I have literally met some of my best friends. Like I spent the weekend with Isabella, who's Mexican Bells, um, Abby, who is Abby Reads, Teresa, Bookish Teresa, and then we hung out with a whole bunch of our other mutual friends as well. And it, it was just like so fun because we're all in different states and it's like book events like this puts us all in the same place at the same time. And that's just my favorite part of book signings, honestly. Okay, I think that's enough for this intro. So let's just get right on in to the haul. Let's start with the author that I actually got the most books um, signed from at this event and this actually wasn't the original plan um, but that author ended up being Miss Devony Perry. She is the chillest, nicest, most beautiful person but no picture evidence yet of us together but Chicago. Chicago we got this um, but I only went down with from my collection my garnet flats because garnet flats is my favorite book by devney um granted i have not finished the eden series yet i actually have to get to crimson river and sable peak and then i'll be done with the eden series so i'm almost there but i have read a good amount of devney books um but this one is just my favorite i love it so i was like okay i'll bring my garnet flats for her and then at her table she had limited copies of the signing exclusive The Bribe. This is from her, what's it, Calamity Montana series. I will say she will be having this edition sold on her website down the road, so don't worry if you collect Devony books and you want this edition. It will be outside of just her signings um, for the year, so I was like, okay, I'll get this signed and then I will get this signed. But then at the Barnes & Noble by my friend who I was staying with by her house, it had the most amazing selection of books. Like I've never seen so many indie um, books in my life in a romance section. So I decided to just pick up some dev books that I was missing from my collection that I wanted. That including Jasper Vale and Crimson River. Um, because for some reason I got the Sable Peak trad pub version because now this series was picked up by Entangled Publishing. Um, but I have all the other indie versions except for Jasper Vale and Crimson River. And I said, of course I must just complete my set. So I got these two and then I haven't read Coach or Blitz yet from her sports romance series that she's currently working on, but I've heard from so many people that I'm going to like them. Like it's forbidden romances, like it's Coach Athlete. I think Coach is the single dad one. Um, and then Blitz, the newest one, is just like a forbidden age gap romance, which I need. Like, I know I'm going to love them. And I like this cover with the football player on it. So I ended up getting all of these books signed from Devney. Next up, we have um, an author who I purchased a book for off of Amazon to have her sign because I love this book so much. I was like, oh yes, I need to get the original copy to get it signed because in my collection, I only had a special edition of it. And that is Kate Canterbury and I got In a Jam. This is just the copy off of Amazon. I brought this with me to the signing so I could get it signed. And I love this book. If you know, you know, I'm obsessed. This is like a small town romance. It's kind of single dad, but he really takes in his niece. But you know, he does act like her father figure. She's so cute, the little girl. The audiobook is sensational. I couldn't recommend this book on audio enough. I love it so, so much, right? And then 
at her table, she had this beautiful signing exclusive edition of In A Jam. And it's just this beautiful kind of like jammy, like raspberry color, like ready color. And it just has gold foiling all along it. And actually the back says my wife, which I didn't even notice. I just saw that it was in a jam and it was only like $25, which I feel like is such a great price for a signing exclusive. I mean, most of them are around 20 to $30 anyway, but I just was like, oh my God, $25, of course, take my money. Um, but I love it. And she signed this one with like gold. Um, and it was so nice to catch up with her. She and I are TikTok mutuals. And she's one of those where she actually likes like my TikToks, like other TikToks, like outside of me just talking about her books. And I wasn't sure if she was gonna recognize me Big, but at the end she was like oh it's so good to like see you in person and I was like oh my god I like wasn't sure if you're gonna know who I was but she did she knows how much I love this book I need to read more off of her backlist um but I love Kate Canterbury she is so so sweet her booth was so pretty she had the most gorgeous little flower wall and it was really great to see her and for someone who it was so lovely to meet in person because I've been connected with her for a little while now and I love her and her books and really her aesthetic is just so me I tend to flock towards the authors who have like pink Barbie aesthetics like Maren Moore Morgan Elizabeth who we'll talk about like I just love my Barbie girls okay we see each other we connect on a deeper level. So I did pre-order from Marin Moore her signing exclusive edition of Home Run Proposal and it's so beautiful with the pink and the little red foiling. It came with an art print which I actually already have this art print um, but it's so cute. I love the little title page. She signed it and Marin is so sweet. She's such a doll. Um, again, I was really happy to see her in person. I love this book. This book is very, very fun. If you want like Sports romance, dating lessons, but really it's more like spicy lessons, you know what I mean? Wink. Um, he's obviously a baseball player. This one is um, Best Friend's Brother, and it just felt like a rom-com, like an early 2000s rom-com in a movie, but I just obviously had to get this. It's too, too cute. Of course, I had to pop over to my girl, Lauren Asher. I love Lauren. If you're new here, she's one of my favorite people. She's always a joy to see. I have gone to, you know, her signings at, she's done them in New York. I've seen her at, um, the first time I met her was when actually she was at Book Bonanza and she was Melanie Harlow's neighbor when I was assisting Melanie there. So she was right next to me the entire time. So I've spent a good amount of time with Lauren and she is one of the nicest people. I love her so, so, so much. She's a great pal. And I was going through my collection. I was like, what Lauren books do I have? That she hasn't signed yet and I realized I definitely don't think I have my fine print from her signed I know I have my terms and conditions and my final offer signed but I don't know if I ever got my fine print like paperback signed but it's fine I decided to go for my German edition this is a foreign German special edition from Chester Fandoms um and I got I have the full set of three but you know these books are a little bit fatter so I obviously couldn't bring all three so I went with terms and conditions because I love this book so so much and I just had her sign this book and it's just so freaking pretty people were like stopping me and they were like where did you get that book and I was like it's German it's a foreign special edition but she signed it she put Kelly belief in yourself LA and yeah Again, I love catching up with Lauren. It was wonderful to see her again, and I do now have this edition signed. For some signing exclusives that like book boxes did or like, you know, bookish companies, bookstores, I decided to pre-order both editions that the last chapter had as Sweetgrass signing exclusives, and that was the A Million Kisses in Your Lifetime. Um, by Monica Murphy. These are both hard covers. And then the other one was Until I Get You by Claire Contreras. Now the thing is, I have not read either of these books, but when I saw that they announced them, I thought the covers were so, so pretty. I'm a sucker for an illustrated cover. I think this has to do with the guy kind of like stalking her. It's funny because I've heard such mixed things about this book where I feel like I've, I know people who read it and they were like, I don't know, I thought it was okay. But then I know people who love it. And this is definitely a book that I want to check out for myself. I did not buy this edition in the hopes of like trading it or selling it. I really was like, oh, this is a book that I do think I could like. Um, so I am just very happy to have both of these editions because I do now for some reason collect Monica Murphy books because they're all pink. 
Like, I haven't even read her books yet, like I said, but her books are so my aesthetic, and I actually love this character art. I think the art on this one, love it. So cute. So I am very happy to have both of these. For another book that I bought at that Barnes & Noble by my friend's house to get signed at the signing, um, we have The Redemption by Nikki Sloan. I actually love Nikki Sloan and I've read a lot of her books and Nikki's had a lot of signings. I just have never gotten anything signed from her before. So there was a point when her line was pretty short and I was like, oh yes, let me go over and get my redemption signed. This is book four? I think in her Filthy Rich American series. Um, that series overall is not my favorite favorite, but it does have a lot of standout moments for me, especially if you like taboo, forbidden, like romance. And this is The Redemption, which is Daddy McAllister's book. And this book was hot as fuck, and it's my favorite book in the series. And I love Daddy McAllister, and Nikki was like, oh, good choice, he's my favorite too. I was like, he's my favorite, I love this book. I was like, he did nothing wrong. This man did a lot wrong throughout the series, but in my mind, he did nothing wrong. So it was really nice to go up to her and get this book signed. Um, and I love the covers on this series too. I like all the people covers. Um, they're all really cute, um, but yeah. And look at the back. Ooh, it's very sexy. So I am very happy that I have this book signed. And you know, I went up to my girl. My bestie, my bestie for life, uh, Morgan Elizabeth. I'm obsessed with Morgan and her whole team. She had her whole squad with her and I love all of those girls. Truly some of my favorite people. Morgan's booth was all like pink. Her table had like Morgan Elizabeth as like a friendship bracelet and she told me she was making those and I was like, you crafty, crafty gal. Um, so it was so cute to see, him, see her in person. And of course I had to get the signing exclusive um, of Cruel Summer. This is in a similar style to her fall of Bradley Reed one that she had last year. This one obviously is just very, you know, summer with like the crabs and the shells and it's so pretty. It's really, really gorgeous. I love the I love the design on these editions so much. Maddie, who works for her, I think did such a great job. So it was really wonderful to pop by and see Morgan and pick up this stunning, stunning book. It's really, it's really beautiful. I just love it. All my Morgan special editions they're perfect. And for more signing exclusive special editions that were from, you know, like book companies, I got two out of the three Hello Lovely signing exclusive editions. And the ones that I decided to pick up, obviously I had to get the what was meant to be, the QB Tyler one. I collect QB Tyler books, okay? QB is one of my favorite authors. I live, <laughs> this is funny because this is actually the only QB Tyler book that I haven't read yet like out of her very, 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 very popular ones. I have read most of QB's backlist. And the fact that I haven't gotten to this one yet, like don't be mad at me, like I know I'm gonna love it. I didn't realize that the cover was gonna be foiled. So I think it's even more stunning. I just love, 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 love this. Again, any QB edition I will be getting. So she signed that for me as well. And then the other book that I wanted to get signed by Natasha Madison, but I didn't end up going back to her line to see her again but maybe if she's at another signing I'll just bring this with me and she can sign it um but then this is meant what is it meant for stone by Natasha Madison I love illustrated covers like I said I just said this so I did have to get this I love the art style on it it's very very cute and I haven't read that many Natasha Madison books I think I've only read honestly like one or two but my friends really love her and her books and she's very nice I've met her before like I met her at Vegas she's lovely and again I just didn't have the chance to pop over on her line um so again mine is unsigned but it's still very very pretty like again the character art is stunning also going back to QB Tyler I did pick up again at Bell's Barnes & Noble like that Barnes & Noble man I told you it was crazy they had like two QB Tyler books in stock one of them being what was meant to be and I don't have the original paperback so I was like yup let me get that and I'll have QB bring that I mean I'll have QB sign that so I got obviously just the original paperback for what was meant to be and she signed it. And then actually what's fun about this is she was telling me this is the old version of the paperback because it says blurred line series on the bottom and actually she had it updated where that is removed. So I was like, oh, is this like an older, you know, special version of it? Because it's not the new standard paperback. So she was like, yeah, that's like so interesting that they had that one because that's the older one. And so I did end up getting this. And so actually I got the same QB Tyler book signed twice. So the special edition and the standard paperback. QB is just one of my favorite people. I love her so, so much. I spend a lot of time with her at signings because we have 
a whole bunch of like similar friends. So I spent a lot of time with her at Sweetgrass, just even hanging out after the signing. And I just, I love her. I will protect Miss QB with my life. She is such a doll, truly. And she's one of my favorite authors. Again, she writes the best taboo forbidden age gap romances. She's a girl after my own heart. We see each other and it's always a pleasure to see her because I just love her. Love her very, 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 very much. One of my favorite people ever, and I said what I said. Moving right along, we are almost done. Um, I brought just one book from my Liz Tom Ford collection to get signed. I wanted to bring Mile High also, but I was like, no, I'll also see her at Chicago at Wild and Windy, so let me just limit myself and get the one book signed. So I did bring my copy of The Right Move with me because um, I, I love this book so much. I mean, Ryan Shay, I don't even need to talk to you about this book because I know you already know about this book. But anyways, I do love this book. Love it so, so much. One of my favorite romance books. And I was so excited to finally meet Liz in person. And my book did end up getting signed, um, but I wasn't actually there to get it signed. Liz was another person where I got a wristband for her as soon as I walked through the door, like, because she was right there, and I just could not get on her line, or every time I would go by her line, it was really long, which is not surprising, okay? She's literally Liz Tom Ford. Like, of course, she had a line, and she was busy the entire time. So towards the end of the signing again, I popped on her line, and I was like, okay, I'll, I have time to kill. I will wait now and get my book signed, and again, I want to meet her, and I, again, know people who work for her, so whatever. I was like, okay, let me go say hi to Liz. But then my friend came over and was like, hey, the Devney line is now, you know, clearing up. You should go over to her. And I was like, what do I do? And this nice, nice girl in line, I don't know her name or anything. She was like, oh, I'll get your book signed for you and like bring it over to you at Devney. And I was like, that is so nice. So shout out to the girl who helped me out in the Liz line and got my book signed for me. I really, really appreciate it. Four more beautiful, and I'm talking beautiful signing exclusives that I pre-ordered, which I'm so happy I ordered both of them because I thought I only ordered the one, but I did actually end up getting both. These are from Marnie Mann, and this is the Single Dad Signing Exclusive Edition, which is the cutest thing I have ever seen. I think visually, this is one of my favorite special editions that I have in my collection. The pink, the red, the hearts. I mean, the daddy of it all. It's so cute. The foiling. I love the back. Like, it literally says my ever and ever, my little Everly. Like, it's actually cute. Like, the little teddy bear, the little bear. It's a little bit too much, if I'm being honest with you. This is my favorite book in the Dalton Family series. I've read most of them, except the last two books that she put out with. Um, and I will say The Single Dad is easily my favorite. Maybe because I love single dad books. <laughs> I guilty. I love this book. I thought it was really spicy and fun, and it's really cute. And again, this edition was Chef's F and Kiss. And then I did also get, I haven't read this book from her, but this is When Ashes Fall. This is just as stunning. I mean, I love the color scheme on this one. I know this is one of her more, I think, like emotional books, like one of her more like maybe angsty, like emotional books where the Dalton Family series is just like very fun and spicy. Um, But again, I'm happy that I got both of them because this is very, very pretty. Yeah, I definitely want to read more from Marnie, especially in her backlist. Like I want to try her more like emotional, angsty books. And obviously I got the books signed. And like I said, she's very, very, very nice. And apparently she remembered me and my hair. And I actually saved my two queens for last. I mean, every author who I met, again, love them, big, big fans. But you know, me and Miss Elsie Silver, I finally met my Elsie in person. Oh my God, I love, love Elsie Silver. I mean, it's shocking, everyone does. She's the people's princess, I tell you. And she actually ended up being the first person that my friend Teresa and I met. We went up to her and we got on her line, which was very nice. We again knew a whole bunch of people who were working for her and we got on her line and I finally met her and it was so nice to meet her in person. She's the sweetest, nicest, most beautiful little nugget. And I only brought two books to get signed with me. I was very, very good. And the books that I got signed were A False Start and my Trad Pub Heartless. I think... None of my Heartlesses in my collection are actually signed from her, which is crazy. Um, but I don't know why I didn't want to bring my indie versions. I don't know. I think I was scared something was going to happen to them. And since they're out of print, I was like, let me just start with my Trad Pub one. So she did sign this. And I just realized this now that I had her sign a false start 
when I totally meant for her to sign a photo finish, and this is the book that I grabbed, and for some reason, I get these books confused all the time. I'm so dumb. I really thought I brought a photo finish because that's the one that I really read and loved from this series, and I had her sign a false start. I haven't even read this book yet. I'm two books behind to finish in Gold Rush Ranch. I really thought I had her sign a photo finish. It's because this one is pink and I think the other one is like a pinky color. I can't read. When did I ever, when did I ever say I could read? I know I'm a book person, but I'm, I'm actually dead on the ground. But anyways, I love Elsie Silver so much. She's obviously one of my all-time favorite authors, one of my all-time favorite people. She's the chillest. I love her team. The people who she works with are the best. Um, and it was so nice to finally meet my girl in person. These are very special to me, and I'm going to get even more books signed from her this year. Very, very exciting stuff. And Elsie, I love you. I love you so much. And finally, finally, let's end with my queen. And the thing is, she would have been really close to being the author who I got the most books signed for at the event, right? But guess what? I literally bought this paperback to get signed and I, it was at the bottom of my cart. So I forgot to get it signed. I bought this paperback specifically for her to sign at Sweetgrass for When Heroes Fall. But no, alas, it was at the bottom, it was at the bottom of my cart and it didn't get signed. Because I have When Villains Rise, this is Gianna Darling, by the way, like I'm talking about Gianna Darling. Um, I have that book signed in my collection. And I was like, I need the paper, I need the first one in paperback to get signed. So I have a matching signed set. Still no, still no. So you know what? We tried, we attempted. But anyways, I did get these books signed from her. First up from my Fallen Men collection, I decided to just bring, I was trying to be good, and I just brought my Dead Man Walking With Me. And I love this book. Second favorite book in the Fallen Men series for sure. I will say sometimes I could also say Caution of the Wind is my second favorite because I really did. I love that book so, so much. But I am doing a Fallen Men reread this year at one point soon, hopefully. And then we'll see which one stands as my second favorite. Like, ooh, will it change? Like, I'm so curious if my opinion on the series is going to change upon second reading. I mean, we all know my first favorite, which we'll get to, won't change. But anyways, I brought my man cover of Dead Man Walking to get signed. Priest and Bia's book. This book is so hot. Love it. Love it to infinity and beyond. Um, if you're new here, hi, I'm Kelly Gianna Darling. This is my favorite author. I love her. I have a tattoo for this book. And she's everything to me. So anytime I get to see her at a signing, I'm a happy clam. Another person, not only love her, love her team, the people who she works with, the best, the best, the best. I love them. Hi, team Gianna Darling. I'm such a fan. Going back to this, um, Gianna announced that her signing exclusive editions, she was going to have these gorgeous leather bound editions of the Fallen Men series. And I was, again, I was on a budget. I was trying to be good. So I only ordered Welcome to the Dark Side. Um, but if it was up to me, I'd have the full set. But, you know, we'll see what happens with like Wild and Windy and Vegas if I get more. Um, I probably will. Um, but I got just Welcome to the Dark Side for now. This is my favorite book of all time. I'm obsessed. Everyone, Gianna and her team knows that this is my book. And first off, this book came with a really beautiful spicy art print that I can't show you. But I was going around to everyone after this, like after I got this book signed, being like, guys, look at Gianna's book. Look at the spicy art print. Whoop, like, oh, oh my God, did you just see it? <laughs> Maybe you got a little taste. Don't flag me, YouTube, please. I don't want to get in trouble. It's always a joy to catch up with my G. I love her so much. I love talking to her. Um, so obviously I got this. This is my pre-order. She signed it. And then the last book that I actually picked up at her table because I didn't have this edition yet, and that was the gorgeous Caution to the Wind discreet cover. I really, really wanted this one. And I'm so happy I got this. Sign this one as well, obviously, and it's just so, it's beautiful, and Caution of the Wind, newest book out in the Fallen Men series, Axe Man and May's story, and I love this book so much, and now I have every edition of this book, basically, actually, except for, um, I don't have the, this version of this book, but I probably will end up with that one, um, but I have the girl cover, the guy cover, and now the beautiful, discreet paperback, and I love this book so much, I mean, me and the single dads, 
of the Fallen Men universe. These are both single daddy books, forbidden, spicy, age gap romances, motorcycle club, um, perfect books. So I, you know, I will collect all of the daddies, especially in the Fallen Men universe. That was my sweet grass um, Charleston experience and haul. I hope you enjoy. If you like this video, please make sure to comment, like, um, and subscribe. It means the world to me. Make sure to share this video if you can. All of my other social medias are linked down below if you want to follow me and stay up to date with what I'm reading in the moment, that you know, like my Goodreads, TikTok, and Instagram. If you're going to any book signings, let me know. Um, I would love to see someone. I mean, I love spotting also people who follow me out in the wild. Like, it's always crazy when someone comes up to me and is like, oh, like, I love you. I, you know, follow you on social media. And like, I had a one girl, her name was Haley. She was lovely. She gave me like a friendship bracelet. And that was so nice. Like, yay. I love you guys so much. Like I said, the best part of signings is 100% running into people and just chatting and, you know, catching up. So that was all for this video. I hope you enjoyed. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.